Hello my friends, this is Amner Hunter from AmnerHunter.com. In today's video, I am starting a brand new series where I am testing a new DAW, right? A DAW where I am a beginner in and where I am not comfortable in. I have been using Cubase for 10 years at this point and I wanted to try something new for the purpose of the creativity switch which I am explaining more in depth during this series. In this video I am gonna use Reaper from scratch as a beginner. My goal is to focus uh, quickly into creating something new in a new platform, in a new environment. This video it's all about getting started in this DAW. I am not sponsored by Reaper or anything like that. I have heard many things about this DAW and uh, since a lot of you use this DAW, this was my choice. I am gonna download the free trial of Reaper which is 60 days uh, fully functional. I am gonna use only free plugins to create something new here on the DAW and I am gonna document all of the process so hopefully you stick around for the videos that I'm gonna be uploading in the next few weeks because in February I have something very cool prepared for you. I am going to leave down below the applicable links for all of the things for free that I'm going to be using for the purpose of these videos. Also, I'm going to leave you some timestamps as well for you to move around between the mini segments of this video. If you are not a user of Reaper, you can follow along with me and learn another DAW. If you are a user of Reaper, well, you're going to know some things at this point and hopefully you can give me some advice regarding the features that I'm going to be using. I also want to prove to you guys that your skill set and your knowledge and the uh, tools it's more important than the actual tools, right? So that's another reason why I'm creating this video series. Before we dive deep into the content, my friends, I would like to invite you to my website, amnerhunter.com, where I have some cool freebies for you. I have some free PDF guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players. Also, I have some free tools available a huge collection of guitar impulses, my Cubase mixing template, among other utilities. And finally, don't forget to check out my blog and this channel, which I'm updating weekly with tons of free content. So now let's get straight into the video. So I just installed Reaper and it was pretty quick, actually. And I just opened up the DAW. It's the first time that I actually use the DAW. What I want to do is I want to check out some of the features of Reaper. I want to know if I am going to be able to record something quickly and also mix something quickly here in Reaper. I'm going to do this video in parts. One of the reasons I am testing a new DAW because I have used Cubase for almost 11 years now. One of the reasons I want to test another DAW is to use the creativity switch, which I'm going to talk about more. But basically, when you change things in your workflow, you work more focused. Beginning of February, I want to create some special videos for you guys about songwriting and I want to create music alongside you, right? So I am going to try to make one song each month or one song each two months and also record the process and document all of the process for you guys. So I want to use another DAW where I am not comfortable in. And also I want to be like a beginner basically in another DAW, right? I'm going to use the skills that I have collected through the years when recording, songwriting and mixing and all of that, but in a completely new setup, which is Reaper. I have heard a lot of people say good things about Reaper and it seems very intuitive, very friendly. Also the interface. So Let's go here quickly. First, we have the menu here, and uh, I just want to take a look in general that DAW, just as a beginner would. So we have file, we can start a new project here. Pretty much in every DAW, you have almost the same menu here. Of course, some things will change, but basically we have the same things. So as in Cubase, in file here, you start a new project, you save the project project template, stuff like that, right? So I'm just getting to know this here. This is the first time that I use Reaper. So right, export, render. Let's see here, project settings. Okay, so yep, this is something that I was looking for also. I record at 44.1 and I see here the same settings, 24 bits, 44.1. 
that's actually the sample rate and bit depth that I use. So you have the BPM, pretty simple and easy to navigate, I think. And uh, since many of you use Reaper, I wanted to use that as well. I wanted to test it since I have heard many things about Reaper. I have had some problems with Cubase and I want to test another DAW just in case. So 120, 4, 4 times signature. All right, so I'm going to try to create a riff or a demo of some kind here in front of you. First, I need to know, of course, some of the features. All right, edit, uh, select all, cut, copy, dynamic split. So of course, a lot of things are new to me because in QAs, maybe they are named differently or something. Since I am a beginner here in Reaper, I'm going to focus in the things that matter the most to create music. I don't want to get lost in all of the advanced features and things like that. I am going to use mostly third-party plugins, free plugins for the purpose of this video. So view, master track. So this is the master track. It seems that stereo output or the master. So this is the view part where you, I guess, remove things from the screen and you put things monitoring FX. Okay, so this is the window. The FX is the plugins, right? The transport. Okay, very useful to have the transport. So then the view, big clock performance meter. It would be cool to see the performance of Reaper. At this point, I have noticed that Reaper is very, very light on my CPU, actually a little bit more than Cubase. So that's a first win for Reaper right there. Grouping matrix, project, big clock, zoom, zoom in, zoom out. Okay. Let's move to the insert. So here we can insert, as in Cubase, insert a media file, I guess. Uh, you can import, in other words, a file, right? A track or something, new MIDI item, marker. Okay, pretty useful, the markers as well. So you can also insert a track. So let's click here. All right, so I just inserted a new audio track, I guess, to record multiple tracks virtual instrument on your track so that's gonna be useful to keep in mind item select all group take comps okay pretty cool so i guess i will be learning more about all of this stuff track here in cubase we also have this option where you insert a new track also in cubase you can insert groups or bosses i don't remember where i read that in reaper you don't have groups or buses, you just have any other track where you send stuff to. Basically in Reaper, you can send any track to any other track, right? So anything to anything, basically. There are not tracks like created specifically for things like buses or things like that. Remove tracks, duplicate, track color. Pretty useful to organize the session, right? Which I'm gonna do. Then options here. Almost every DAW that I have seen, you have the options. And here in preferences, you have the audio option. So let's go there. By the way, my audio interface is already selected by default here. I use the audio box USB by Presonus. I'm going to leave it there. Enable inputs. Okay, so you select the inputs of the interface and the outputs. Since this microphone where I'm talking in is in the input one, I'm going to choose this as the number two where I have my guitar connected. Then here we have a lot of things. Buffering, MIDI, mute, solo, recording. I guess I need to also add the folders where my BSD plugins are. I don't think that's going to be a problem because as every DAW, it's almost in the same parts where you basically scan for the plugins on your computer. Fades, crossfades, editing behavior, envelope. Maybe I'm going to need to check more onto the editing functions on Reaper. Media, video import. So we get here to the plugins and compatibility bst right so here are the path that reaper is going to follow on my computer to find plugins edit path list okay so here we add a new path or remove so i actually have 
my plugins most of my plugins are in this folder program files bsd plugins and i also have a big portion of my plugins on the bsd3 folder which is this pretty cool that reaper already selected this folder so i think we're good to go here i think we can see all of the different paths in line here so rescan let's see here bypass audio while operating plugin some more advanced stuff i just wanted to let no reaper where my plugins are to use them right also i don't know if uh, the instruments are also here i guess so we can find stuff here and all right i think that's good with that window so let's move on here actions insert new track view okay cool these are like quick options right help so as you see here i have the evaluation license it's a demo license for 60 days for free all right what do we have here new project open project so pretty straightforward actually pretty easy to understand i think if you have experience in other daw you are gonna be fine you have the metronome disabled or enabled which comes very in handy i'm gonna use that auto crossfade some editing stuff here move envelope points so i just added a new track here and let's see here what we have i guess this is gonna prepare the yeah the track to record if i enable that this is monitoring good to know trim what's this uh, volume pan with envelopes for track one and then we have here track one or we can call the track i'm gonna put uh guitar one guitar left here we have the volume of the track okay we have down here the mixer pretty cool double click and it resets by default show track effects window so these are the plugins i think yeah yeah we have the bsd bsdi the bsd instruments right and the bsd3 pretty cool these are the plugins that come inside Reaper, Cocos, pretty complete, right? Okay, categories, analysis, analyzer, bass, drums, dynamics, pretty cool. All of the categories, very simple to find everything. Add a plugin and you can turn off the effects or the signal chain that you have here with this. Effects enabled or disabled, the mute, solo, and the face, pretty useful sometimes for drums. You can make the track bigger here. We have here loop. It works as Cubase. You have here the BPM, pretty useful. Uh, sometimes I create music with different BPM, so I need to check further into how to set different BPMs. Where could that be? Insert marker, time, tempo, signature. Oh, wow. Tempo, time, signature, change, marker. Here's the position where maybe the tempo is gonna change, right? So I'm gonna check on that further, maybe later. I just want to record something basic here, a guitar riff or something with bass and virtual drums. Also, I'm gonna mix that in front of you guys in another video and master finally that track. I just wanna show you guys that uh, the most important thing in your arsenal are your skills your skill set your knowledge this is the master track fader you can put some effects here okay this is like the inserts right in cubase sends receives and hardware output oh, okay let's see here what we have master send it seems that this track is being sent to the master track that's what i understand here parent channels add a new send add sense to all tracks add a new hardware output and midi hardware output basically here i think we can select where we send the tracks i think i will manage to create something quickly here in reaper even though this is first time that i'm using it audio bpn why can't i hear oh it has a tap tempo pretty cool we have the loop there why can't i hear the bpm maybe the monitoring or something but yeah I'm, I'm gonna struggle guys as you did in the first times using the software or any other software maybe later in the year i will try other daws as well please let me know down below in the comments my friends what are your thoughts on this video how can you help me out to 
improve faster on Reaper maybe. How long have you been using Reaper if you are a user? Please let me know if you know something about the creativity switch, which I'm going to be explaining more in depth in the upcoming weeks. The goal here is to create music using free tools. So hopefully you will get something cool out of these videos. Before we go, my friends, I would like to invite you to my website, amnerhunter.com, where I have some cool freebies for you. I have some free PDF guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players about mixing, about productivity in your home studio. Also have some free tools available, a huge collection of guitar impulses, some presets of some plugins that I use, and I will continue to add stuff. And finally, don't forget to check out my blog and this channel, which I'm updating weekly with tons of free content. Thank you very much for watching the video. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it very much. I'll see you very soon on the next one. All right. Take care.